Rabbi Shlomo Zalman Bregman of the Jewish Executive Learning Network. And in today's short and sweet clip, I want to talk to you about something very important that comes up in Shaduchim. As many of you know, via the Jewish Executive Learning Network, my wife and I hear from, thank God, Bliai and Hara, up to a couple hundred singles a month. And many of whom, or a small number of whom actually, I mentor privately in our one-on-one -on -one capacity. So I pretty much feel at this point I've heard just about everything and come up in Shadokim. One of the things I hear from almost every single that reaches out to us is something like this. Um, Rabbi Bregman, let me tell you what I am looking for. I want to tell you what I am looking for. Sometimes that's on your piece of paper, you know, your PDF, in your resume, the what I'm looking for section. And sometimes the what I'm looking for, it comes in the Tyree Shabbat Pet. It's the oral Tyree you tell me over the phone or in person or whatever it is. So let's get down to the, I want to talk to you about the what am I looking for. I have no problem with people out there having a sense of what they think that their zivug, their b'sher, their intended, the future spouse is like, and articulating that to people who might have the chance to help them. I got no problem with that. I think that's very fair. But what I don't hear enough of, and this is 99 out of 100, is I'm not hearing from people if they are able to articulate to me what they themselves are bringing to the table that will be able to attract that kind of person, specifically. I sometimes hear comments from people where they complain about the poor quality in the dating pool. Somebody wrote me an email complaining about, I'm quoting, the poor quality in the dating pool. And the person tells me, as far as dating prospects, I haven't been really impressed very much. And what I want to know when people think like this, or speak like this, or talk like this, or write like this, I want to know, well, who are you impressing? Are people blown out of the water when they meet you? Are they just, are they just fainting by your impressiveness, whether you're a man or a woman? Are they just, wow, you know, nobody's impressing you? Well, who are you impressing? Oh, I'm serious, okay? You have to know. Don't complain about the quality in the dating pool, but, you know, and that nobody's really just, you know, blowing you away and just changing the way you're thinking about things. I want to ask you, stop worrying about everybody else. Are you doing that for other people? People tell me all the time what I'm looking for, but they don't ask, am I the right person that brings to the table something that matches and corresponds that such a person that I'm describing will have, right? Are you sure, here's another one, are you sure that you're not complicated? Are you sure that you're all not tied up in knots and emotionally or uh, and, and all kinds of things such that when people go out with you, they're like, wow, I just got to, I just got to make this person the one. I want to go no further, right? You know, it's very, very important. Are you so compelling? Ask yourself this. Are you so compelling a candidate when you're out there in the dating pool right now that people are thinking like, my goodness, where has this person been all along? This person's got to be the one. I've often found that uh, when people get married and when dates go from one or date one, date two, but when they keep progressing to engagement, it often happens because at least one party sees the person sitting across from them and says, you know what? I don't want this to go any further. This is the one. This is it. I'm going to figure out how to land this plane, and I'm going to figure out how to bring this in for a landing, okay? That's many times what happens, okay? So you have to ask yourself, while you're busy with everybody else, this is what I'm looking for, this is what I want, like this, like this, like this. I'm okay with that, but make sure you're also working on yourself that somebody who's going to go out with you is going to be so massively impressed with you on the other side, at least on the level with what you're expecting of everybody else. It's very good advice. Those who take that to heart will upgrade what they bring to the table and they'll find that their singlehood will usually come in for a landing sooner than later. It's Rabbi Shlomo Zalman Bregman of the Jewish Executive Learning Network. If you'd like to get in touch with me directly regarding Shaduchim or anything else, simply write me an email, director at jeln.org. See you then. Thanks.